All right, guys, so to begin with, before we even begin with the artwork, you want to make sure that the background has a little bit of gradient to it. And so to do that, you can either create your own back, oh, sorry, gradient in the background, or what I'm doing here is at the left hand side of the artboard, I'm adding this orange light, changing the layer mode to soft light. And the reason why I am doing this is because in this artwork, in my artwork, the light source or the light is actually coming from the left hand side and it's hitting the object or the drawing element from the left hand side only. And that is the reason why I'm adding this light or this yellow kind of color with soft light as blending mode so that you you know we can depict that the light is actually coming from the left hand side and it is hitting the object or the drawing element we are going to be drawing so that's one thing you need to do before we begin with the artwork so the next step is obviously to create the basic artwork so here i am drawing this ghost and i'm not using white color to create this ghost because you want to pick a color which is kind of in the middle which is not really dark and not really light because uh, in the process you know later down in the process we are going to be using the lightest color and a darker color for the artwork so if your object or element that you're tr uh, drawing and that you want to add depth to to make it look 3d is white then make sure you're not using white color as base color for the artwork because we are going to be using white color to create that 3D effect or to add depth to that flat um, element or drawing. So I hope that made sense. And for the eyes, if your artwork has eyes, make sure you're not using black. Make sure you're using a darker gray kind of color because again we are going to be adding that black color as shadow and now once you have that basic artwork created and it's ready now is the time that we go ahead and add shadows and highlights and you guys I use airbrush this whole entire video and you can you guys can actually see the icon selected on the left hand side and you can just you know figure out what the brush is i will still link i will still give you guys the name of the brushes that i used but i mostly use airbrush and also smudge brush and sometimes colorless brush as well so as you guys can see i picked up this color which is um kind of saturated but again it's really dark not that dark but obviously darker than the base color and i added this color on the right hand side of this cute little ghost and so the key here is to first add the shadows and making sure that you're putting light pressure so that you don't need to blend it out and also making sure that you're using larger sized brush and then once you have that once you're happy with that you want to decrease the size of the brush and you want to add shadow at the very end or at the edge of the artwork or the ghost in this case and this shadow is gonna look a little harsh as compared to the shadow we created initially i hope this is making sense i hope you can actually see it on the screen and yeah when you are adding harsh looking shadow at the very edge of the ghost you want to make sure you're putting much pressure so that we can get uh, you know a lot of pigmentation of the color onto the ghost or onto the artwork that you're creating so that's the key um, both for adding shadows and also the highlights again for the highlights what we're gonna do we're gonna pick up white color or lighter color if your artworks base color is different then use a lighter color obviously so uh, we're gonna follow the similar steps also guys before you even go ahead and start with adding shadows and highlights you want to make sure that you have locked the layer uh, because we don't want to mess our drawing up so make sure you're doing that so with the highlights as well you want to add white color really light-handed making sure the size of the brush is bigger and then you want to decrease the size of the brush and you want to add that white color at the edge of your artwork or at the edge of the ghost that i have right here in this video and you want to make sure you're putting much pressure 
to make that highlight look a little harsh so yeah I hope this made sense but throughout the process no matter what you are creating you want to keep in mind the light source of your painting before you even add the shadows and highlights so that is really important and that is the reason why you know you want to kind of show that light source in the background as well so that it goes really well with the main artwork i hope this is making sense so that's what i'm doing right here if you want what you can do is you can just pick some 3d art from pinterest or somewhere else you can use those as reference to create your own artwork you know to make that 2d drawing look 3d when it's not really 3d at all so i hope all this is making sense and if you guys uh you know want to use the smudge brush or the colorless brush just to blend something out if you have messed something up it's completely fine so from this point onwards i'm just going to speed up the video a little bit and i will meet you guys again So as you guys can see for the eyes also, I used black color to create the shadow and um, a lighter grayish kind of color to add the highlight. So the process is similar you guys, you just want to add darker shade and a lighter shade and then you want to have a base color ready with you. So it's really really simple you guys, it's absolutely simple, it's really simple. So yeah, that's what I did for the eyes as well. So the artwork is already looking really, really good. Now I'm going to add blush. And for blush, what I did is I changed the layer mode to add. You can also change it to color dodge. I just wanted the blush to kind of glow a little. So that's why I changed the layer mode to add. And I added this really bright pink color onto this cute ghost cheeks. And it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, you can just play around with the colors and the layer modes. Just go crazy with it. So yeah, I, that's what I did for the blush. One more thing that you want to do is you want to um, pick up a color which is kind of similar to the background. And you want to create a new layer, change the layer mode to add or linear dodge. And add this color on the right hand side or where you've added the darker shadows. You don't want to make it look too prominent, but just a little hint of that color. So because of that reason, you want to make sure you're decreasing, sorry, decreasing the opacity of the layer itself. And yeah, you're done. In the end, I just, uh, you know, refined it a little. I added more white or highlights onto the gloves where I thought it sh I should add more highlights. And yeah, you're done. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick video if you did give this video a big thumbs up if you do create this ghost out of this tutorial and tag me on instagram i would love to see your results other than that i will see you guys in the next video